is Miles. My desire is to be one with Christ and not distracted by the world. For my love for Christ to outweigh all earthly desires and to be so grounded in my faith that when I am tested, I will not give way to doubt and temptation. I want to thank Mom and Dad for being great examples in my life and for raising me in a Christ-centered, fun-loving family and for being the two best teachers I could ever want. And my siblings, y'all have been great to grow up with and y'all will always be my best friends. I love my church family because of all the love and support y'all have shown my family for as long as I can remember. Y'all are like true extended family to me and I consider myself blessed. I am Sky Dinkins. I'm graduating from London's Fine Hall as a homeschooler. I would like to thank my family who has challenged me to overcome my church family, who deepens my faith with God for the lifetime friendships, for my faith in God, who strengthens me during the difficult times, and to my parents. Love you! Hi, my name is Elizabeth Glunt. And my family and I have been attending Amelia Baptist Church for about three years now. Um, we started when I was a freshman in high school and now I'm graduating high school. And I just wanted to take a minute to communicate my appreciation for this church um, who have always been so faithful in their obedience to God and therefore impacting many lives like mine and also to my family who have always been an example of walking in obedience to God's will. Um, I have learned through the years that God gives us struggles and joys to draw us nearer to Him, and I am eager to walk forward in the plans and purposes that He has for my life, um, whatever that may be. If there's one thing that I've learned about God in and through high school, it's that he is in control of everything. Um, nothing is outside of his goodness. He is actually outside of our time, working everything perfectly um, for his glory and for our good. And I am so thankful for that truth, walking forward into the next few years of my life, and that that truth has impacted me so far at such a young age. And I want to thank you for all your love and support that you've shown me. Um, it's God's love in and through us, and I've learned that here at Amelia Baptist Church. And I want to thank you for your obedience to God, which shines through you and as a light to many young people like myself. I am thankful for my family. Um, I'm also very thankful for my church family that has helped me grow spiritually in my walk with Christ and to help me become a better Christian and a better friend and help me lead people towards Christ. And I'm also thankful for all of my friends that have helped me spiritually also discerning from right from wrong. And I'm also very thankful for Jesus um, and everything that he has done for me and my family and for all of my friends. And yeah. What's your name? Sam Harper. Excellent. And can you tell us what did you enjoy studying most in the last year? I enjoyed um, things like literature or philosophy, things that made you really think about life and what you stand for. Very nice. And in the last year, has there been a scripture that you found especially meaningful or that was a favorite? Um, James 1, 2 through 4. <laughs> that is an excellent scripture. Um, it's been a challenging year. In the past year, what has brought you the most joy? Um, spending time with people that really love me and really understanding what we've been through. It's, it's just been such a help and it brings me a lot of joy. Thank you. Um, it can be a challenging question, difficult question. What are you most looking forward to in the coming years? Um, I'm just looking forward to, I'm, I'm really looking forward to furthering my skill set and my, and, and, and being able to get an idea of what God wants me to do. I really look forward to that. Wonderful. And then if, are there any people you'd like to thank before we finish up? My family, my, it's, it's hard to name all of my friends because you just learn to 
you just have so many after things like that. And um, it's really a blessing. Just anyone who has ever helped us at any point this year, <laughs> I'm thankful for you. Thank you very much. Yes, bye. Can you tell us your name? Hi, I'm Rachel Harper. I'm a senior this year. Wonderful. And what was your favorite topic this year in your studies? Oh, definitely literature. I really liked reading the Gulag Archipelago. Probably, oh no, it was philosophy. Philosophy was really exciting. Wonderful. Now tell me, um, in this past year, what have, what have you found most meaningful in the scripture? Um, I found a verse... It was, oh, I don't have it memorized. I'm sorry. It is the verse about how lay your burdens upon Christ. And um, in the past year, since the very beginning of 2020, we have had many burdens laid upon us. And it was a great comfort that we could lay them upon Christ and rest on him. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, it has been a challenging year, as you've already acknowledged. Is there, what would you say was the point where you were most joyful? I think just the moments where everyone would come together. Um, right now we're moving out of our house. Um, everybody, and I mean everybody, has come together to support us. My aunts are in the house. Um, all of our family friends are in the house. I think that's the point where you realize that you're most loved even when people are carrying out all of your belongings. <laughs> oh, most definitely. Um, last question. At this point, it can be difficult to know what the future holds. What do you think you would most like to start delving into after high school? Um, this next year, I'm going to be taking a gap year. I'm going to be working to a for college next year, and my main goal is to get a bachelor's degree in journalism and go on to become a travel journalist for National Geographic. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, because the church is so much like family, it's difficult to know who you most most might like to say something to, but is there anyone in particular you'd like to thank? My mom, even though she's not here at the moment, it is the person that I would have thanked anyway, and it's the person that I still thank now, because every single thing that I've done, even after early January, has all been inspired by my mother. Thank you very much, Rachel. We appreciate it. Came to an end really quick. And with such an ending that I could have never guessed. Um, and it wouldn't have been half as good without the Page family, the Harper family. And I wouldn't have been able to get through it, really, without Father Brad. Um, he was there during school hours, after school hours, night and day, putting in work to, to teach me... Um, to be where I am now. So thank you, Father Brad. Thank you, Adam, Amy Jo, Harper family. Oh, can you tell us your name? Hi, I'm Tori Harper. Wonderful. And can you tell us what was your favorite thing you've studied in the last year at school? My favorite thing that I've studied at school this past year has definitely been modern history. Ah, so fun. Wonderful. And then in the past year, what has been a favorite or meaningful scripture you've really enjoyed? Um, favorite scripture that I've enjoyed is Isaiah 43, 1 through 4. But now, thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you my name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my eyes and honored and I love you. I give men in return for you and peoples in exchange for your life. Oh, that is a beautiful scripture. Now, it has been a challenging year. In this past year, what has brought you the most joy? Um, what's brought me the most joy is definitely my church family. How they've just come around our family and supported us and loved us through our hardest time. It's a beautiful thing to see. You're doing a great job. So, this is a difficult question, but as you look to the future, what do you think you're most excited about jumping into? Uh, well, this next year, I'm going to be studying classical liberal arts, um, hopefully, Patrick Henry College. And that's where I'm going to start. 
<laughs> That's exciting. Very exciting. So are there any thank yous you'd like to give before we wrap up? Yes. Thank you, Billy Baptist Church. Thank you, everybody, for dealing with our family for almost yeah, seven years. Yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you so much. For the record, what's your name? Peter Thomas Sawyer. Uh, okay. Peter Thomas Sawyer. Uh, you are here. Uh, you're going to graduate from high school, mm -hmm. and this is your recognition. And uh, it's sad we can't be in front of everyone, but uh, I'm going to stand in for Adam and ask you a couple questions. Uh, the first one being, what is your favorite subject in school? I'd have to say either English or history. Very good. And you're homeschooled, correct? Mm -hmm. And you have a favorite homeschool teacher over the years? Totally. My mom, hands down. Excellent. Uh, what about a least favorite subject? Either chemistry or math has caused me to tear my hair out the most, but I wouldn't say I have a least favorite subject. All right. Uh, you have been involved in music your whole life. Uh, a lots of different music at Amelia Baptist. In fact, the, uh, you also are an accomplished pianist. I don't know how many people know that. And your, uh, your piano teacher, the infamous Miss uh, Gale, uh, is a descendant and student of Mozart. I say a descendant. Of course, yeah. she studied under people who studied under Mozart. Sure. So now you have also studied under Mozart, so to speak. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, let's see. Favorite music director? You've had a few music directors. Uh, I'm thinking about Pam Helton at Amelia Baptist at the Sing Conference. You had uh, Johnny Ray. Is there a favorite music director in your life? Miss Pam, also hands down. Okay, great. Uh, we have, at Amelia Baptist have put on an evening in December uh, for several years, of course, even before we arrived. And you've been a part of that. Uh, you've sung and 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 also been involved in the production the skits played some parts do you have a favorite part for evening december tenor oh how about uh in the production of the skits any favorite parts loved playing jack this past year i like dressing up okay great uh we have sung in whole and in part different uh sections of handles messiah at different times over the life of uh, your time at amelia baptist uh, do you have a favorite song from Handel's Messiah? I would have to say Worthy is the Lamb with the Amen section. It's really great sounding. Okay, good. Uh, Peter Thomas Sawyer, uh, outside of homeschool and your life at Amelia Baptist. Oh, you know, I have one more uh, question about your singing at Amelia Baptist. Okay. Is it true that um, Charlie in the tenor section has been your inspiration? And and you hope to grow up to be like Charlie someday? I would say I style my hair differently, but um, yes, I do draw on him for some inspiration, yes. Okay, great. I couldn't, I couldn't go past that. So outside of Amelia Baptist and homeschooling, you've been involved in a Bible study fellowship from your earliest days. Um, is there a favorite study of the Bible study fellowship that you've enjoyed? I would have to say Genesis because I agree with Ken Ham. The first eight chapters of the Bible are definitely the ones that hinge the rest of the Bible. Okay, good. Uh, you have a sister named Emma who's uh, graduated homeschool as well most recently besides your, uh, your elder sisters who um, also are homeschool graduates. So Emma is currently enrolled in Patrick Henry College. Uh, is it your hope and dreams to follow her footsteps one day? Hope and dreams, yes. Okay. So... Uh, of course, that's in the future. Mm -hmm. um, any any reason you may be going to Patrick Henry over other schools? Um, first of all, they seem like a truly above their peers kind of school. Um, but also, they have what's called the strategic strategic intelligence program, which filters you into the law enforcement field or the intelligence field. And both of those fields are what I'd like to do with my um, what workforce life. Excellent. Well, our church family, the Whitakers, have been involved in Alert Cadet for a long time, and we have, we joined them many years ago. And uh, you are indeed an Alert Cadet. Um, you've gone on canoe campouts, backpacking campouts. You attended a dive camp. Lots and, of camps. Yeah. You. Uh, what happened at dive camp? What did you leave there with? A uh, dive certification, uh, open water. Okay. So. And a lot of fun memories. Good. Great. Uh, 
So alert cadets sometimes fall into the alert program and uh, there have been some Whitakers that have done that. Is it um, is it your plan to someday attend the alert pro program? Yes, it is my plan to be there to see Miles cry when he passes inspection. Okay, inspection or? Inspection. Okay, very good. Uh, so have you considered uh, joining the alert program? I would have to, to be there to see Miles cry when he passes inspection. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.